Developing tonight, a former lawmaker accused of breaking the law himself. Now, today, Ron Villanueva was federally indicted on four counts, one of which is conspiracy to defraud the federal government. Ted on your side was there as he left Norfolk's federal courthouse following his first court appearance. Tonight, our Brett Hall has been digging through the court documents to bring us details. Brett. Nita, 48-year-old Ron Villanueva is free on bond tonight. He served as a state delegate for eight years for parts of Virginia Beach and Chesapeake, and before that, served on Virginia Beach City Council. Trusted by voters for years to be a good steward of their tax money. Tonight, he's accused of taking it when he shouldn't have. What do you think of the indictment? One question, one question. Just God bless everyone, and uh, look forward to uh, my day in court and the story getting out. Those were former lawmakers Ron Villanueva's first words following the release of a 22-page federal indictment. It claims Villanueva falsified records and statements in order to defraud the U.S. Small Business Administration over a nine-year period from 2005 till 2014. Prosecutors say as a result, two businesses associated with Villanueva were awarded a combined $80 million in government contracts they may have never been eligible to receive. I've devoted my life to public service. Everyone knows me. I'm a man of integrity and honor. Court documents say Villanueva had extensive experience pursuing contracts set aside specifically for small businesses controlled and owned by socially and economically disadvantaged individuals. However, the indictment alleges that he and another co-conspirator were operating two Virginia Beach-based companies, SEK and Carta Systems LLC, in the name of others who would fit the description to receive funds. Years of emails and records lay out the scheme one piece of evidence even includes a letter Villanueva wrote on his official House of Delegates letterhead. Continue to pray for me and my family and, you know, I'll make sure we'll, we'll address all your questions in, in the future. You completely deny the allegations? Take care. No outright denial today from Villanueva, as you heard from uh, him answering investigative reporter Chris Horn's question. He is due back in court next week for an arraignment on these charges. And again, he isn't the only person charged in all of this, and there still could be more charges coming. Live in the newsroom, Brett Hall, 10 on your side.